doing something a little different this week. I'm in Christchurch at EV City. It's a specialist looking after electric cars. Now, they've got a lot of interesting stuff here to look at. They've got a Nissan Leaf motor that's been dissected. They've even got a Nissan Leaf that's cut in half. But what I want to see is something almost as old as me. It is this Lems electric car. And this is Dave. Hello, everyone. <laughs> what is welcome, it? Welcome what? to my lens. This is 120 years of automotive history. This is an electric car before there were electric cars. A lot of people don't understand, Gavin, that electric cars were there before fossil fuel burning oh, yeah. cars. So this is an example of one that's from 1903, 120 years old this year. Still got a region as of about five minutes ago. It's so, got a warrant. So this is, oh, this is this road legal? This is road legal. We're going to take you for a spin. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so how many batteries does it have? How fast does it go? We've All the got usual stuff. four six volt lead acid batteries. Okay. Top speed we've topped out is 28 kilometers an hour. <sighs> It'll probably go faster, but you'll find out that 28 kilometers an hour in an open cockpit like this with the chain rattling is quite terrifying. Okay, are we gonna need those insect goggles from the First World War? Jeez, we should, and you'll need your <laughs> scarf. <laughs> you'll need your scarf and your cheese cutter if you're gonna jump on this. Oh, brilliant, I always keep those in the glove box. Okay, so what can we tell me about the motor output? Do you know how many horsepower or kilowatts it is? It's, Both it's, of them? It has, I think, at least one. At horsepower. least one, brilliant, okay, great. Yeah. But I noticed it's got electric lights. Yep. Didn't they used to use carbide lights back they then? They would have used candles back in the day of 1903, but before that, but um, so these are actually off a Cadillac. Um, mud flaps, leather. This is leather. So the oh. stone won't make any noise when it flicks up. It's got this, leather and wood, this is like grandma's living room. Yeah, it's mahogany and leather. Oh, far out. So it is, uh, it is like driving your armchair around. How do you get replacement tyres for these? Well, do you know what's really funny about that? Mountain bikes now make tyres in this Are you serious? <laughs> so I had a look for these the other day thinking the first thing that's going to go wrong is I'm going to pop a tyre and need one. And um, this is a common side for e-mountain bikes these days. Onboard charger in the back. Oh yeah. So oh, some that. vintage equipment there as well as some more modern equipment. This is obviously a battery charger. I recognise yes. this. What's that? That's your inverter. Oh, is this is an AC system? Mm -hmm. I thought this was DC. Right. Wow, early AC system. Yeah. Wow. Was one of the pre previous owners Nikola Tesla? No, <laughs> no. And then your batteries, unfortunately, the original batteries are obviously 120 hours and not, no longer with us. So we've got four six volt batteries in here. How much Sends of the equipment the is original or has it all been so replaced? It's, it's really? about, it's original as Captain Cook's apps. It's had four new handles and three new heads. Okay, right. But the neat thing about it is there is enough originality in it for the guy who uh, rebuilt it here in New Zealand to have it registered as a 1903 vintage Lems, rather than a 1974 LVVTA two-seater uh, okay. electric go so, so there's enough as, original components. As far as the government's concerned, this is original enough to be original. To be considered a 1903 Lems. Lems standing for London Electromobile Syndicate. So as we understand, there was about 20 of these made. This all looks great. Let's take you for Does a ride. Does it work? Let's, <laughs> let's find out. All right, let's go for a drive. All right, on. So you just drive, flick the switch, and the pedal down here that says R yep. is the accelerator, oh. of course. Hey, we're off! Okay, so she's chain driven. Yep, it has two brakes. It yep. has a drum brake oh, yeah. on the rear axle and a chain brake for you know, that emergency when your drum brakes fail. And we right. will probably <laughs> encounter that emergency oh, fairly you, shortly. You could have lied, you didn't need to tell me that. <laughs> This is kind of terrifying. We're really exposed, aren't yeah, we? You are. This is hard to explain to the viewer at home, but it feels really exposed. And this is this is that point where all those people will start saying, hey, I know that guy. Uh-oh. Notice that even this very small incline is quite a challenge. Oh. She moves all right. Now, hold on nice and tight in case yep. that chain breaks. OK. Yeah, put your feet against something in front of you. What happens if there the chain go. breaks? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> But I imagine we're going over the front. Oh, is this serious? If the chain breaks and stays behind us, that's fine. But if it gets jammed up in there and we stop suddenly... <laughs> You've got me gonna terrified go, now. we're going to go flying. <laughs> Another EV owner that had probably hasn't seen this thing out in over two years. Oh, yeah? In fact, I think this is the car's first outing in over two years. Far out. This is the inaugural train braking. They not normally... Um, <laughs> take the kids to get an ice cream once a year, but uh, the weather on Sundays, the lowest traffic day of the year, hasn't been there for us. So here we are. We need this giveaway to go well for us because okay. we just <laughs> can't afford the electrons to stop and restart. Oh, no, it's, it's all good. Because we've got this almighty great hill <laughs> in front of us, or as you might commonly refer to as an overpass. Oh, okay. It's a daunting looking hill. And we need all the power we can get to get up and over that. <laughs> I 
I'll never let go, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> the great thing about this, when we put it in the river, it'll probably float. Okay. <laughs> There's room for two. <laughs> room for two on that door, Rose. Move over. There's room for two. <laughs> Come on, Gav, I'll say this. Room for two on that door. So here we are, foot flat. Okay. What's our volts doing? We've got 40 volts. Bit of voltage drop there. Doing 70 amps. And it's a pretty shortly where we say, Gav, jump. Get out and push. <laughs> okay. How's our camera car behind us there? Oh, yep, he's doing good. Painfully <laughs> blocking traffic for us. Yep. And now that we're at the top of the hill, the next problem fronts us. Okay, braking. so. Braking. So we're off the gas pretty much straight away. Yep. And we need to start applying our braking gently. We don't want to get too much speed because the brakes are. Uh, are about as good as riding a telegram to the car in front of you asking you to move out of the way so okay so no regen braking no regen yeah. braking lots of gentle braking pick that is okay. hard braking oh so that's and is that foot hard stopping. down yep foot's hard down oh far out so at what point should i get out uh, probably <laughs> just when we crash you can okay, go and apologize right. if you like <laughs> okay she's slowing down yep slowing down You're doing all right i think it's um probably about time we put some disc brakes on it okay Probably double its weight though. Will we stop? Hey, look at that. Uh, that's, that's nearly, nearly. That's mildly terrifying. There we yeah, go. Yeah, they moved forward a bit. <laughs> yeah. Stops right. from a slow speed quite easily. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But if you've got some speed up, you've um, you've got problems. Oh, we're off. Here we go. Clear the way. Horses out of the way. All right. Can you imagine back in the day that that bell sound and what it would have done to terrify oh, the horses in front of you? Horses. All right, take me back to the dealership, Mr. Darcy. Oh, oh no, wait, first. wait, we've got a detour. We've got a wee detour. <laughs> this is something I've always wanted to do. Indicator out, if you please. There we indicator. Go. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, you're on I'm left-hand indicator. indicator. <laughs> I'm on right-hand indicator and brakes. Okay. Brace. So any idea what sort of range this vehicle has? Yeah, um, it's got us to one end, one end of town to the other. That's I not haven't bad. bothered going further than that. Um, so we've done a few Christmas parades in it, and it's um, oh, yeah. you know, very slow travelling just up this road in front of us, all the way to the other end and back, and um, I tell you on the way home, oh, I've nearly swallowed the seat. <laughs> I'm pretty uncertain as to whether I'm going to make it or not, so. And we go, let's get off the road here quickly. It really is a car. It is, it's legal. It really is. <laughs> So what's it like driving with a tiller as opposed to a steering wheel? Well, if you've ever sailed an Optimus or a laser, yeah. you'd find this really, really familiar. You're just looking the wrong way. So the same risk of capsizing? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we're going through a drive-through in a 120-year-old car, as you do. The only problem I have with this is, do we have to eat it? See, normally I, I allow a McDonald's and junk food on a road trip. Does this classify as a road trip? This though? is absolutely a road trip. Okay. And this is probably one of the longest road trips that this car will go on for another year. <laughs> yes, for the first time in this car's 120-year-old life, we took it through a McDonald's drive through and as we sat there breathing in the car fumes, let me do a quick shout-out to Ecotricity, which makes these videos possible. Ecotricity is an electricity provider, but what makes it different and better than all the others is that it's New Zealand's only certified climate-positive power company. That means by joining Ecotricity, you're helping to turn back the clock on climate change. And its electricity is super affordable because it's all 100% renewable. So sign up at ecotricity.co.nz, save some cash and join the good fight. But now, back to the fumes. Man, you, you realise how much combustion vehicles stink when you're stuck in a line of them and you're out in the <laughs> open like this, eh? Okay, so while we've got some time here in the drive through what are the, uh, what's season and trip? So it's, a, it's an hour taco from what we understand. Oh yeah, yeah. It hasn't been operated operating since the um, since the year seven ten. Since the, the war, which war? <laughs> the first world since, war. Since well before the first war, <laughs> Moses was still a boy. I love it the rose yeah. duet Bacada vanity mirror. I've realised it's just it's not electric, and I'm going to have to reach out and grab it. With my uh, right. Hand. I'm wondering if they still do a cheeseburger. Oh yeah, of course they do. Yeah. Would you? Would you? I'll get one of those. Get a cheeseburger. Yeah. Let's have a cheeseburger. Good afternoon. How can I help? Two, two cheeseburgers, please. My good lady. Should we be talking in an oldie worldy way? <laughs> that's what like, I'm <laughs> now that it's that cooking smell. Oh, that's the BMW behind us. <laughs> I was wondering. It's like, oh, that, there's a sort of a hot burning smell, but it's, a, it's the combustion engine behind. <laughs> That'll us. be it. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, this is a really comfortable seat. 
it's really comfy, you know? It is, isn't it? It's we, not you know, church pew-like. You know, we've, we've had some movie nights at work, and this is the premier seat in. I've got to say, this car's doing surprisingly well for something that what, hasn't been driven in two years. Has this ever been through a McDonald's drive through this, this, I imagine, will be its first time. <laughs> and first if time it's not its first time, years. goodness me. <laughs> oh, there's that sweet, tangy smell of of leaking coolant, isn't there? Yeah, I think the uh, ethylene glycol that's yeah. bubbling away and just about to let go through a hose. Uh, yep. Yes, my Austin Allegro bust its guts recently. No, oh, were you just driving out the driveway or something? Were you no, really, I was. Really I was. Challenging? I was in a McDonald's drive-through. No, Believe it or not, oh, no. <laughs> it overheated and then spewed its well, coolant everywhere. But I taught it a lesson. Yep. I ripped its engine out. I'm going to convert that to electric. Yeah, well, that's the best thing for it, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> Here we are. Let's see if we've got the technology to oh. pay for this. Have you got any pounds? I've got. I've got shillings. <laughs> Hi. Good afternoon. <laughs> Eight dollars sixty, fair maiden. Allow what's, what's me. What's that in pounds and shillings? <laughs> oh, down there. What is the the little knob there? Is that the high so, beam lights? So no. <laughs> <laughs> lights I've got below my leg here. Uh -huh. So I can just pull that switch and you can see them come on oh, in yes, front there. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, that is my park brake. Oh wow. So brake on, lock it in place. Ah, uh, so it just locks the foot brake. Yep. Okay, so that pedal on the right is the drum brakes on so the back. So that's the drum brake. This okay. is the chain brake, and my okay. accelerator or throttle is down here. So what happens if you press both brake pedals? Will it stop you extra? A or, little bit faster. Or yeah. will things fall yeah. off? Yeah, well the, the risk is using the chain brake that it will snap it. Okay, it all right. So that is the Hail Mary I'm about to okay, crash. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's snap the chain if we need to. Wait, hang on, isn't it supposed to be 24 volts? Or is it 48 volts? It's 24 volts. Why is that showing 50? Because that would be 48 volts charge. would be 50. wrong. It's only a 24 volt system. It's a 24 volt motor. Oh. And uh, what voltage are the lights? Are they 12 volts? Or 12. Are they, yeah, okay. I believe they're 12. Does LEM still exist? The, no, of course not. No, LEM's made 20 vehicles and this oh, was it. Far they out. made 20 of these and that's it. It's very hard to find any history worldwide. There is one in a museum we understand in Massachusetts. Oh yeah. Oh, but it is neat to be Driving around in a piece of it, history here. It is fun to drive in museum pieces. This is my this is my P51D Mustang or something like that. In a museum for yeah. 11 and a half months a year and then... Hello. Very kind. Thank you very much. Thank you. I better hang on to that. Should I put it in the glove box? <laughs> She's seen it all before. All oh, right. Far from impressed. There was one through 10 minutes ago, she says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. Thanks, nice, mate. You have to oh, really anticipate in. what the oh, traffic's yeah, yeah, doing yeah, yeah, around yeah. here. Because of your brakes. All right, so we're clear on the left. We're left rear light, up we go. Now, I don't want to frighten you too much, but... Oh no, I don't do, start any conversation I with do. that. <laughs> I do sometimes forget which pedal's which, because they are the wrong way around. Okay, yeah, yeah, they notice that. So I have been known to hit the brakes too hard when I'm trying to accelerate, or hit the acceleration too hard when I'm trying to stop. So and we're grateful for the cycle lane, which we'll just sort of oh, park yeah, into yeah, a yeah. little bit. Because we are closer to an e-bike than we are yeah. a car. <laughs> it's quite refreshing. It wouldn't be much fun in Christchurch in the winter. No, it's not much fun in Christchurch in the summer either. <laughs> Which is a lot like the winter. <laughs> uh, we do have some nice crisp days, but generally ruined by a howling easterly. Right. Just, uh, oh, I should indicate. Yeah, you've yep. got your left hand indicator <laughs> out. And then we've got left hand indication, and then if you can pull your left one in, I'll put the right one right. out. And here we are, <laughs> just quickly getting back in. All right. Slow it down a little bit so we don't bend a wheel. Oh, look at that. And we survived. After making fast food history, we arrived back to EV City in Christchurch where this vehicle is on display, so don't be shy if you'd like to go and see it in person. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please press ye olde like button or perhaps send a telegram to the subscribe button so that you'll catch next week's content which should be a bit of fun. Otherwise, until next time, drive safe and drive emission free. Right. <laughs> we turned ourselves a cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs>